Have you ever wondered why there are exactly seven days in a week? Where Earth and Sun helped identify days and years, the Moon brought the idea of months to our platter. Ancient civilizations were keen sky gazers, and one such civilization was of the Babylonians who lived in Mesopotamia, present-day Iraq. While observing the cosmic wonders, Babylonians came up with their original calendar that demonstrated the Moon's movement. The Moon takes 27.3 days to go around the Earth. As the Moon orbits our planet, we see four different phases of the Moon over the span of 29 to 30 days. These four phases are the New Moon, the first quarter, the full Moon, and the third quarter. The Babylonians rounded the Moon cycle down to 28 days, assigning seven days to each of the four phases, and using leap days to stay in sync with the Moon phases in the long run. That's how the idea of having seven days in a week came into existence. Apart from this, there are several other stories as well behind the seven days week duration. One of them is linked with the planets of the solar system. The Babylonians had the concept of the seven classical planets, Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Although the Sun and the Moon are not planets, the ancient idea of these seven classical planets referred to the seven moving celestial objects seen in the sky, including the Moon and the Sun. The Babylonians assigned each of the seven days to the seven planets visible to the naked eye, making number seven crucial in more than one way. Since Babylonians were a dominant section of society in terms of culture, their notion of a week spread worldwide. Today, almost every continent, every country, every city, town, and village have got on board with the seven-day week. Time and again, attempts have been made to change the concept of a seven-day week, but it seems that it is here to stay for a prolonged time. 